Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Yeah, this is Alex. This is the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight from New York, New York. Looking all lovely and pretty and, and sunny and <laughs> outdoors, it's um, Lori Thompson. Hey. Hey, How Lori. Are you, How are you? I'm good. Yeah. I'm very yeah. yeah. I'm having a latte here. I, I ordered uh, uh, the pods with the, our lattes, and there's they got sweetener in them, and they've got sh- cream in them, and everything, all in one. You mean you? It's a pot. It's like a packet, and it's all pre-mixed. It for goes. You? It goes in the curry. You know. Oh really? Yeah. Well, that's nice because I got I we have a carry. Rick makes a huge pot. He's Mr. Caffeine, but um, mm-hmm. we you know that's why. And I like Pike's roast. Pike's that's place. What, that's Marjorie's favorite. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Well, yeah, it I don't know. I don't. I, I I don't. I keep away from a Starbucks. Usually, I use this coffee. It's a it's a mocha. It's a very good mocha with double latte. It'll double uh, strength, but. They're all out of it now at Amazon, so I can't order it, you know. Well, the nerve. But did you see where that woman, uh, apparently Panera Bread, which used to be St. Louis Bread Company in St. Louis, it's still St. Louis Bread Company, but it's Panera everywhere else. Yes. Same logo, same everything. Right. But they've got a thing called Charge Lemonade. Yes, and and somebody died from it. Yeah, well, and she had some extenuating circumstances. Yeah, so I hesitate to say. I don't think it was the drink that, if if the drink had killed her, then many more people would have died from that drink. Exactly. I think she had some pre-existing conditions that contributed to it. Yeah, yeah, which she should have known about. You know, when when you're getting charged lemonade, I mean, even though I've never heard of it before, I know what they probably mean by charged. Now, I would have thought it meant booze. Huh? But, I mean, charge, because they've got this, you know, all kinds of hopped up seltzer, and, uh, you know. No, you, can, and, no, you and, don't have and, to pay for it. You can charge it. What? You know? ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, anyway, yeah, so I mean, we were a little late going, because um, I, I, didn't you write it down that I said today was the day we were going to do it? And then you, you sent me a message yesterday, and I read about half of it on my watch, and I went, cool, whatever see you you know yeah you no know, i just um had when the you know, when we last spoke hmm. um it was a day that was really hectic because you know the landlord cropola and so um i didn't we hadn't confirmed it and so i thought well i better confirm it well usually i confirm it but because you sent me a message i figure my reply was the confirmation so well it's all good because anyway you, anyway anyway yeah. so this this happened and and you um, unfortunately uh, uh, didn't know, so I we're running a little late here, you know. Yes, but, but we're still we're still alive and kicking. Let me put my glasses Both on. Let me put my glasses on. This. this what? Oh. Uh, oh. Don't I look? See, in- those kind of a biblioteca glamour. Well, you, you know, were, like, I, I think I wore glasses when I did the show in San Francisco, didn't I? I think you do. You put them on occasionally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Along with, I have a picture of you and a, somebody gave it to you at a live broadcast, mm-hmm. and it, uh, a shit head. Like, do you remember it? I can see the picture of you still. It's a big rubber pile of shit shaped to fit your head. Oh, yeah, I remember so, that. I remember that. Yeah. It was, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. I wonder what happened to that thing. I held on to it for years. Yeah, and there are so many things that, that I I feel that you should be able to press a button and at least find out what happened to said item. Yeah. Because I've got I've got a Sweden uh, soccer, uh, a United so- Swedish soccer team from the World Cup at Stanford in '94. No idea what happened to it. 
and and I, there are other things that I've kept for years and years and years. Stuff I don't even need or want or want. You know what yeah. I can't find now? A couple of months ago, I, all, of a, all of a sudden I get this thing in the in the mail, and it's from Verizon, and it's a, a Wi-Fi extender. And I called them yeah. about it. I said, what's this? Said, oh, that's just it's part of the complimentary deal for you for going to this service or whatever. And uh, uh, but I didn't need it because I've got Wi-Fi extenders all over this apartment yeah. because we've got concrete walls that no signal goes through, you know. So I've got a hard wire to other anyway. So I never installed it. And I, the other day I thought, oh, maybe I'll give it a try or something, see how it works. And I can't find it. You know, really? I went to all the places I would have stashed it, and I can't find it. I know it's somewhere yeah. in this apartment. Yeah, see, that's it. You know, it's like somewhere in a finite space, but that's why we should all have those, uh, you know, those detection, those heat detectors. Yeah. And you can just wait. It's fun because you can wave it around a wild area or a forested area, and yeah. you can see yeah. out, how the outlines the little wildlife. Right. Nice. So anyway, so uh, I, I can't find it, and I don't know where it is. And all I know is now, right now, we have a cat staying with us again. Oh, you do? So you're cat sitting or? Cat sitting, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Very nice. And and this cat lives in a one-bedroom apartment. And so this is like summer camp for her, this, <laughs> this place, right? Yeah. Uh, and she finds places to hide. Not that I think she wants to hide, but she doesn't feel totally comfortable. So when she wants to sleep... She wants to sleep someplace nobody can find her. But we, Ooh. but uh, she's been here about four times now, so we know every place she hides. I mean, right. this is a huge place. There are a lot of places to hide for a cat, you know. She, and plus, a cat could climb up, uh, climb up the fireplace, even. Really, know? I didn't know that. Well, oh, cats! Cats can jump six feet. Some of them, no more talented. This, not this one. She's gained a little no. weight. Yeah, yeah. If, oh. Jumping yeah. out on you. Yeah, and I don't think she jumps much, you know. But anyway, yeah. so, she, you know, she, I, she sleeps in all these places. I'm thinking of having her go try to find my Wi-Fi extender because yeah, she... A little reward, <laughs> you know, like canned food for the rest of the week. Yeah, <laughs> right, you know, where we usually put the food away at, uh, at 8 o'clock at night. We'll go till 10, okay, all right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> We'll negotiate. What do you call that? There's a Yiddish word. But for I, it. It, uh, but I knew, uh, I, I knew this cat was, was getting comfortable here, because this yeah. morning I wake up, and she's looking at me. She's on the bed. She never gets on the bed, and she's looking she's at me. You know? She's feeling at home. Well, wait a minute. And Marjorie, who's been feeding her, she's like making bread on her legs on the bed you know but she's trying to wake her up she wants breakfast oh, that's fine yeah so she, she is staking out her territory so yeah. she's very comfortable here now in fact she's yeah, demanding the least she can do is yeah. help you find your Verizon yeah. thing you yeah, know exactly I mean, exactly a little earning of the keep here so anyway so I'll, i'm glad i'm glad i'm not dead and and you you're you're fine you see that that, that shows you that, that you're worried about me at my age you know no, like, no, no, any, any you're waiting for that time you're supposed to call and somebody <laughs> says uh, i'm sorry but last night alex passed no see that's why i keep in touch with my friends like you know if i don't hear if i didn't hear from you for a month i would definitely i would well, see, there needs to be a protocol, a protocol for, you know, tracing down your loved ones and seeing whether or not. Yeah, this is okay. what old people do. Young people never do this. You know, you never know when you're 30. Hey, I haven't heard from Bob in a couple of days. Is he dead? Yeah. yeah. Do you smell him? Yeah. I mean, the only but, time you worry about that is when you're in the mob, you know, at that age. So. <laughs> Well, like Emily Post was it in antiquity used to write uh, an etiquette column, mm -hmm. and so there needs to be like an etiquette slash protocol for us being able to check on the whereabouts and well-being of our loved one. 
I mean, a police safety check or whatever they call it, wellness call. Oh, yeah, we, oh, I'm sure you say, but you know, that's wasting the police department's time. Right. So make sure you have not only your loved ones in your phone, but their spouse. Listen, if I die, uh, I'll, I'll make sure that Marjorie calls everybody. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, great. Yeah, but I think I have her number, so I was already thinking. I mean, that. we're sitting here having discussions like uh, she goes, uh, I said to her the other day, I said, do you think you're going to go before me and, or am I going to go before you? Now, this is nothing I ever considered with any other <laughs> wife or girlfriend or anything like that. Yeah. But now it's a consideration. And, yeah, she, said, and she said, yeah, why don't you make a list of all the stuff I need to know if you die where all the stuff <laughs> is. Yeah, the passwords. Yeah. The passwords. Yeah. So I, I, you know, it just, you know. Well, see, that's why um, my spousal unit is good at things I'm not good at, like keeping track of all that stuff. When we um, travel and go on. Yeah, in other words, what you're telling me is you married somebody for their responsibility. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think that I think I partly That did. was the main thing that attracted you to him was how responsible he was. He was, I mean, he's he's so good at things that frustrate the hell out of me. And so that's what was very appealing. Well, what's and he good what's he good at? What's he good at? Oh, he's good at fixing everything that goes wrong, he can fix it. Okay. Um okay. he doesn't do electrical. He is good at organizing um every detail of a vacation where we do this where we do this it's usually oh. paid in advance oh he's a he's a uh, he's a, a what do you call it uh, he's a obsessive compulsive or something yes yeah and admittedly he admits to that um i think that he thinks he admits to it in jest it's not well, jest because <laughs> you know uh, what's his name spalding gray who we had on yeah, the show in San know. Francisco, I asked him about it because every time I went on a trip, I found that I, I was considering all the things that could go wrong in the trip. Yes. You know, like I have to meet this train at this time and it has to get here on time. Will it get there on time? What do I do if it's not on time? Blah, 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 blah. And he'd written this book called Swimming to Cambodia, so I figure he knew something about traveling. He said, I'm the same way. He said, "You know why?" Yeah. He says, "You know why we're that way?" And I said, "No, why?" He said, "We're control freaks. Well, we I we we, if... we want we want to figure all the things that could possibly go wrong, so you can troubleshoot them in so advance. So there no, so there no surprise. Yeah, see that I think uh, Ricky has that inclination to think what's going to go wrong and then head it off before it happens. Yeah. But you, you waste a lot of life thinking about negativity and not letting you, you flow. Sometimes you can just flow with whatever yeah. happens and you get in that groove and whatever happens, it may be a surprise. Well, you, yeah. Like a yeah, but you, you were in Alberville with me, weren't you? Yes. I always know that I was in Barcelona. And so this is a good example. They give you, Coca-Cola gave us this list of things that we needed to do making the transition to Europe. And mm -hmm. one was a converter, you know, because they have the PAL system. And they also, that's in TV, but they also, for things like blow dryers in the 90s, used to have a converter that you had to buy. Well, I thought they meant just like, so it would fit the outlet. <laughs> so I got, you know, a regular like two prong to three prong thing, not realizing it would wreak mayhem in their system. So two different times at our hotel, um, I blew out the entire power on the, our floor. You remember that? Oh. Because you and I <laughs> that part I didn't remember. I'll tell you what I remember about you in uh, Norway in uh, what? A Lillehammer. Um, is we were watching Jeopardy in Norway, uh -huh. and it was in Norwegian, and you were sitting there answering the questions correctly. <laughs> wow, I'm, you, do, I'm impressed you, with myself. Do you remember uh, that? I do remember that now that you mentioned it, and I think it's because it came um, to Final Jeopardy. Jeopardy, and you knew the answer, and it was in yeah. Norwegian. <laughs> Well, sometimes, you know, there are keywords, and you, I think a lot 
about what words look like. Like, mm-hmm. like somebody's name, if I met a guy named Ted Lasso, I would think in my mind, I would may not remember, but I would remember it's a strong consonant, an A, two, two other consonants, and then a vowel. Mm-hmm. So Lasso could become Gallo. So in my mind, it's like the way that I construct a little bit. But, but you were just doing it very casually. It was like, <laughs> you know, it was like you spoke Norwegian. It was part of my uh, practice in Susians. Well, so oh, yeah, I do this all wait, the time. So, so you weren't in Alberville with me? No, yeah. I was at sleepaway camp at that time. Oh, I see. Yeah. And yeah. so um, I think Lisa went with you to Alberville. And Slayton, yes, she did. How, how is Bobby Slayton? I think of him. You know, I talk to him every now and then. He uh, He's okay. He's not really doing comedy anymore. He kind of quit. Who is he acting? No, he's trying. You know, I mean, I'm sure he'll take anything that comes along, but uh, yeah, but he just doesn't want to do comedy, stand-up comedy anymore. He said it's just too difficult today, you know, because of the political correctness, and because of the fact that uh, he, he he you know he gets has all kinds of problems. He can't at colleges. They they don't. He's politically incorrect. You know, because he has an opinion and he's not afraid to. So I said, I don't need that crap. He said, so he hasn't been doing any comedy. Occasionally, he will do it. I've heard of him occasionally doing it here and there. Yeah, he doesn't even want to. He doesn't want to do interviews with me. I mean, he'll talk with me. I will call him and we'll talk for a while. But he he doesn't want to do an interview. He just doesn't want to be any part of show business anymore. Well, you know, sometimes you get to that point and maybe because of occurrences in your life, in your private no, life. No, I think it is the political correctness because his, his act was based on being totally politically incorrect. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if he goes out somewhere like a college, you know, and does his act, he's going to get booze and stuff from part of the audience. So that isn't politically correct, you know. Well, it's that isn't the na- that isn't the nature of the act, you know. No, it's satire. Yeah, it's, it's so and satire that's so close resembles what it's spoofing. And yeah, the closer it is, and but I agree. In fact, there should be like YouTube an apology channel where all the celebrities <laughs> go on and, and apologize for what they said or didn't well, say. Well, or- you know, I, 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 this political correctness thing is really starting to get to me because every day I read, I get the, you know, the trades that come on, you know, as newsletters now. And there are people like this, this one person over at CAA, which is an agency. And she wrote something about Israel that, you know, that Israel was also having a kind of a, you know, dealing in, in genocide by bombing, you know, whatever. So she wrote a tweet to that effect. Well, she was on the board of directors at at CAA. She was immediately dropped from the board of directors at CAA because of the comment. Now, you know, you know, I... Polarize people for having opinions. Well, what it is now, now, like I've always been, I've never been Israel positive, okay? Because I judge them as a government not as a bunch of Jews hanging out together. That's Passover, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, uh, and, and, and so consequently, there are two things I don't like about Israel. Number one, I don't like uh, them attaching my, themselves necessarily to my religion because mm-hmm. I am not Israeli. I have no intention of living in Israel. I was born and raised in America. I'm an American. Okay, get used to it. All right. So I don't like it when a nation says, "Oh, well, we're the Jewish state," and then they start right. doing they and they then start doing horrible stuff, and they've done some pretty horrible sp- stuff during their history, and yeah. so therefore I have the right to criticize them, and everybody has the right to criticize them without being accused of being anti necessarily anti-Semitic. I imagine there are people who do not like Israel because they're anti-Semitic, but there are a lot of people who don't like Israel because they just don't like their politics. Mm-hmm. They think yeah. Netanyahu is a fuck, okay? <laughs> uh, and and so there, you, you have to separate the political entity of Israel 
from Jews. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and I mean, I have people that say, "How do you feel about what's happening in your homeland right now?" I go, but what? I'm in America. I don't like Trump. And they go, "No, no, <laughs> no we mean <laughs> we mean over in Israel with the whole Hamas thing." Now, uh, I'm very anti-Hamas. I think what Hamas did was just absolutely unconscionable. All right, but that doesn't mean I have to suddenly like the politics of Israel. So this woman. So essentially, I read what she said, and I went, you know, what's so terrible about this? Well, all of a sudden, she's profusely, you know, she's profusely uh, apologizing. I apologize. My Jewish friends have told me, and they made me see the light. And what? What? what you don't have to go through that. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have even been taken off that board because you had an opinion. Right, you know, a, a, um, a political opinion. Yeah, I mean, and if you're going to apologize, apologize yeah. for having such thin-skinned colleagues. And the latest thing can't. is, one of her, one of her, uh, one of the piece, people she represents is Aaron Sorkin, and he just dropped her. Oh, <sighs> is he the guy on uh, CNBC? He, no, Aaron Sorkin Rock. is the guy who did uh, yeah. West Wing. Uh, West Wing, yeah. Yeah, I get him and Adam Sorkin. Is Adam Sorkin related to him? No. He's the guy from CNBC. Yeah. yeah. Somebody else. He's an interesting guy. But anyway, uh, 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 Sorkin uh, dropped her today as, a, as an agent, you know, because mm. of what she said. I, I, I read what she said, and I couldn't see how it was horrible. You know, it wasn't pro-Hamas. Yeah. There was nothing pro-Hamas there. It was all, you know, it was just Israel is acting in a way where, and it is. I mean, when you think about it, uh, there have been 1,200 Israelis killed in this thing, okay, so far. There are almost 6,000 Gazans that have died as a result of this war. And, uh, you know, you have to say, well, isn't that, isn't that a form of genocide as well? Isn't that overkill? You know, I mean, what I think in situations like this, and I, I maybe it's because I just think you you don't exacerbate them, is that re it's a very natural reaction is revenge. Okay. Oh, yeah, very I've very natural. It. We all go for it. We all I want to get that son of a bitch. But the real art is the art of restraint. You know. And saying, well, wait a minute, if we send these bombs over there, yes, we want to kill Hamas, but at the same time, how many non-Hamas people are we going to kill to get to the few Hamas people that we are going to kill? You yeah. know, and, and you have to take that in consideration. And taking that in consideration, when I see pictures coming out of Gaza now of little kids being pulled out of rubble, some of them mm -hmm. alive, some of them dead, and forget about the kids. How about the old people? How about the adults? How about the people in Gaza who don't give a damn about Hamas? They just want to live their lives and, and have some kind of happiness. You know, and so I, you know, I, I just think that what she said and what she did was not all that wrong. You know? Yeah. I mean, and it, it, she's close to losing her job over it. Yeah, see, when it starts to threaten your very uh, ability to pay your mortgage, to pay your bills, mm -hmm. that's what it's boiling down to because via social media, a boycott of a product or a, you know, a movement or anything can be organized at the drop of a hat. And so people are worried about their product being boycotted yeah. or, um, or you know, a backlash against them. And then when right. you trickle that down, well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if I get popped by, by YouTube for being anti-Israel politics, you know? Oh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. And that's the kind of, you know, you, if you don't have the commonly accepted opinion these days, you get in trouble. See, and, the, and these reactions, and they're pretty knee-jerk, um, are, they are totally ignorant of context. I mean, most things, if looked at in contact, you say, well, here's a good point, and here's a good point, and you'll see that sides are not as far flung, as far yeah, away from each yeah. other as they think but, they are. But I, you know, and, and so I'm one of these people, and we're getting close to the end here. Um, uh, I'm one of these people that believes 
that yes, your opinion may be the wrong opinion, okay? But as long as you're in a public forum and you, ha you even have that wrong opinion, you should not be made to suffer for that opinion because that's what freedom of speech is all about. Even if it's speech I don't like, even if it's, I, only if it's speech that creates a danger to people, yes. then, then, I'm, then I say, okay, censor it, okay? Yeah, but you're right, people can do that themselves. If I'm watching, watching something I don't agree with, I mean, if it's a well-presented um, argument for something, I'll, I'll have patience for that. Um, but I can always just turn it off. People want people are tuning in, yeah. waiting for something to give them a reaction. I was going to say, I just don't like the idea that you know that we we censor what pe we try to censor what people say because it isn't the common opinion. Actually, let me just say this quickly, and we got to go. But the common opinion today, okay, and what may seem right today, could tomorrow be wrong. And what's wrong today, tomorrow, we could find out was right. Right. You know, because... You know? uh, so, I mean, yeah, I was, it's just wrong, I think, to to censor the discussion, okay? And, hey, I can tell when somebody's anti-Semitic, but I don't consider them anti-Semitic if they're criticizing the way Israel does business, okay? Mm -hmm. That's political. You're dealing with Israel on a political national level. And uh, you're not dealing, as long as you're not dealing with them as Jews and blaming all that they do on a Jew, you see, that's what bothers me is they so attach themselves to being Jewish that, you know, including the Jewish, you know, Star of David on their flag, which bothers me, by the way. Right, because it's the co-opting um, of well, they're co-opting they're co-opting my religion, and they're doing yeah. things in my name, and and a lot of those things I've never considered to be proper, you know. But anyway. well, and I, I think a lot of it is people uh, wanting to control others' perception of them, which may or may not reflect yeah, yeah. how they really are. It's hey, listen, we we got to go here, kiddo. I I, got, I got things to do. So do yeah, you. Of course, we're saying that, and, and five seconds from now, we'll do another recording. But, <laughs> you know, anyway. She has a lot of that same shirt. <laughs> I love you, sweetie. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, how are you? Good to see you. It's uh, Thursday, okay? It's a little Thursday edition of our program, and uh, we invite you to call us at GabNet Live uh, if you want to see what the uh, uh, how you call on Zoom. Uh, just go over to our GabNet page, which is GabNet.net, okay? And there, over on the right-hand side of the place, uh, page, it says click here for Zoom, and it'll just uh, hook you up, okay? Um, and I'm, and some of you, if I've never seen you before, I will put my face on the screen while you're trying to get on, not because I don't like you, but because I don't trust anybody who's new. I know that sounds strange. Oh, my God. Well, anyway. Uh, we have some people here, a couple, couple, only a couple of people. Uh, Thursdays, we never can tell how many people we're going to get or not get, okay? So here we go. Uh, admit these people, okay? And we'll see what happens here. There they go. There's Charlie Wallace. He's clicked in, and uh, Jeffrey Stein is... Uh, being asked to join, but whether he's joining or not, I have no idea. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. There's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Well, he, he's got to connect his audio. Uh, uh, there's Pamela, his her IT guy. Just making sure we're all good here. Yeah, there you are. You're good. Yeah, just move his camera up a little bit, his face up a little bit in his camera. There, there we, we go. go, and now he's perfect. Okay, hello, Jeff. How are you doing today? Hey, 27 times. What? One time's right. 
<laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, Scott Boddicker is calling. Let's um, let me just make sure, you know, to, that it is Scott. So I'll just put my face on here, and uh, here comes Scott. Is that Scott? That is Scott yep. Boddicker, absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, no question about it. Hello, Scott. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Doing okay. Yeah, I think your uh, camera is a little fuzzy. It uh, it probably needs cleaning. Nah. No? <laughs> I'm just out of focus. Oh, you're just out of focus. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to clean it. I don't <laughs> know where it is. Yeah, oh well. It, it's no, filled oh, in. Now, how you clean it is... It's more light. You see where there's a lens there? No. You don't see okay. the lens? <laughs> you know, like right here? There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Let's see now. Oh, that's a little bit. That's better. I think it's smeared it around, actually. <laughs> Looks the same to me. Yeah. I don't know where the camera is. It's up there by the green light. How's everything over there in, uh, uh, what, what is it? Uh, where you're in um, um, Plano. Plano, Texas. Still the home of uh, Snapple? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Really? You don't know? On every, Could be. on every bottle of Snapple, it says Plano, Texas. That's yep. It. Yeah. I haven't had a Snapple in 20 years, I don't think. You haven't had a Snapple in 20 years. Yeah. I, I haven't had one in maybe about five. I think I quit them. I started out doing a lot of Snapple. And then I, I you know, I got hooked on, uh, on uh, Diet Coke, you know. Um, not Diet Coke, and then, mm. then Diet Coke was supplanted by Coke Zero, mm. which I loved, and then it was supplanted by Coke Harpo, I think, and then, uh, 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 yeah, Coke uh, Chico, and then Choke, Ch uh, and then Groucho, <laughs> and those well, that was the um, that was the uh, Coke uh, Brothers, <laughs> the uh, Coke uh, Brothers. Uh. Ah, it's a little joke here. On my part, I just made that up right on the spot. I'm, I'm brilliant. <laughs> Buddha boom. Buddha boom. Now, ugh. <laughs> and then, then I, then I finally now, then I went to uh, seltzer, flavored seltzers. Okay, so I do that, mm -hmm. and then I suddenly found this uh, flavored seltzer I like called Ice that they had at uh, at uh, um, a Costco. <laughs> And I uh, started buying that like crazy and uh, doing that like crazy, and now Costco doesn't carry it. <laughs> or they stop carrying it for a while, and then they start carrying it again. And the worst thing that's happened to I me, mean, my favorite coffee that I've been using has been um, this um, these coffee pods, you know. Uh, and I'm trying to remember the name of the brand. It's... Uh, but it, it, it's a, uh, a double shot of coffee, okay, uh, mocha, and it's really good. Guess what they mm -hmm. stopped carrying at, at Amazon? This. And yeah. then I go to the company to see if I can buy it from them, and it looks like they've discontinued it too. Either oh. that or they've run out of it or something. I don't know. I can't figure that out. So. What? Mocha what? what I, I, sorry, I missed the... Mocha something. Mm -hmm. Well, if you miss the whole thing, it's not worth repeating. Oh, okay. I, I, a mocha anima or something. I, I missed it. I'm sorry. I, mocha anima. Now, that sounds like a good idea, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. You get cleaned out and you get your caffeine rush at the same time. So today, this cat's been trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm particularly... Um, 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 <clears throat> out of balance. My balance is terrible. Uh, it has, I think, a lot to do with my fact my ears are plugged. And I think there's something going on with my ears and so on. But anyways, I'm lightheaded. And then I, I do that pregabble, and that causes me to be lightheaded. But this cat is trying to kill me. <laughs> because as I, uh, we have this long hallway. And as I go to the bathroom, the cat comes out from wherever the cat's been hiding and goes, Hi, here I am, pet me. Pet my stomach. Uh, hi, I love you. You're, I, uh, are you feeding me food anytime soon? No. Well, then I don't love you. You know, so, I mean, 
So then what I do is I then uh, say, well, I pat the kitty and tickle her tummy and stuff. And then I turn around and go to the hallway, this long hallway. And as I turn the hallway, this cat goes 100 miles an hour taking the curve to, in, into the hallway and <laughs> right in front of me trying to trip me. And I've taken enough falls already, you know, in the last couple of months with various injuries to my body. I don't need, need a cat trying to kill me in my own home. It would be terrible if Marjorie woke up in the morning and there I was lying dead and the cat was going, no, don't blame me. No, it's not my fault. No, not my <laughs> He's fault. old. Hmm? The dog did it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that was that was uh, the uh, the deal. So hmm. uh, that's the cat that's staying with us. And uh, the cat, I don't know where the cat is right now, but sometimes like when I do the show, uh, the cat um, is standing right outside the door when I'm through. Oh. Huh? Yeah. You through with your show now? Yeah. Okay. Come on. I want to trip you. You know. I mean, it's, <laughs> uh, it's just. Amazing. Are you using the cane? I try not to because I don't want to admit I need one. But you know, it really would do me a lot of good. Like today, we took a walk, a little walk, and Marjorie's the one that flaked out first because her back started going bad on her. So we only went about like uh, three quarters of a mile, and um, uh, but. I found that I was having trouble today, too, because I was kind of lightheaded. And had I had the cane, I probably would have walked fine because I, I would have felt security having the cane. But I don't need it because um, I, ca I, I can't walk without it. It's just that I feel more secure with it. You know, get Not what I'm saying? Famous last words. Huh? Famous last words. I think I'd take it with you. No, well, I'm saying I should take it with me. Right, you know, not that I probably won't even use it. It probably won't even hit the ground, but it at least gives me the feeling of security. You know? Yeah, but if it prevents you from hitting the ground, then it's a good thing. Listen to what I'm talking about. You know, in the old days on the show, I would be talking about a date I went on last night, and now I'm talking about whether I should use the cane or not because I'm I might I'm afraid of falling, and now I suddenly become. That commercial that I always used to make jokes about, about I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah. yeah. Should I get one of those things, do you think? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you Absolutely. really think I'm that bad off, huh? <laughs> uh, well, listening to you, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't trust this name that just came up. Uh -uh. Let's all vote on it. Gustavo Fernandez... No, uh, no, 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 Fernando, you're 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 a phony. Okay, uh, let me let me see if I can send a message. Actually, he's being very honest. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, really. Gustavo Fernandez. Uh, let me see here. Uh, oh, waiting room participants. Which one do I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Waiting room participants. Let me see here. Let me just type in get lost. <laughs> yeah, also, these people should realize well, I think Gustavo may have. No? Huh? Get lost. Okay. Sam, what happens is people Probably get Brian. nude. Yeah. And had uh, sexual things. <laughs> she wants to join now. <laughs> mm, let's see here. Message. Uh, 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 I can't get it to. Uh, whoops. I can't get it to uh, do that. Um, oh, I mm. see. Oh, I see. What's this? Hmm. No. No, 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 no. I can't. Um, oh, well, forget it. You can get lost. Uh, let me see here. Two people entered the waiting room. Oh, Charlene's mm -hmm. phone. Okay, let me admit Charlene, but let me make sure it's Charlene. 
Okay. Um, so we'll do this, since there seem to be people trying to, you know, screw with this time. Oh, there she is. She's fine. Okay, that's fine. And I will get rid of Gustavo. Let um, him sit there. Hmm? <laughs> just let him sit there. Well, we could let him sit there and just see how long yeah. he, 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 he sits there, you know. Your wait is three hours and 24 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd like us to call back, just push two. Just before I came on, you know, I watch YouTube, and they, I, and, and I love watching Letterman clips. Letterman was endlessly funny, okay, and he was doing a top ten. And it was the top ten things you'll never hear in Star Wars, and then they brought out all the Star Wars characters, okay. <laughs> And R2-D2 says, I just had sex with an ice machine backstage. <laughs> Funny. Funny stuff. It funnier if it said garbage disposal, I guess. Oh, oh, by the way, Gustavo went away. I guess Gustavo got the idea. Uh, let me see here. So anyway, uh, uh, here we are, all assembled um, or disassembled. I don't know, one or the other. And mm -hmm. um, uh, anything on your mind, Charlie, tonight that, uh, you know? Well, this idiot shooter up in Maine has been bugging Ugh. me. Yeah, yeah. He's still at large. They haven't caught him yet. Yeah, I know they, they haven't caught him. If he's, you know, he may be <laughs> smarter than the other guys have been. And that is, you do a shoot up like this, then get out of Dodge. Yeah, okay, yeah. get as far away from <clears throat> Dodge as is humanly possible. They but, found his car a ways away from Dodge. Far, quite a way a ways? I think so. Oh, like okay. 20 miles away or something. Well, that's like that. not way a ways, you know. No. Hmm. If I what were him, I'd do? go to Mexico or something? No, I would I would have made plans to get on an airplane immediately. Yeah. You know. Absolutely. Fly well, to Russia. First thing they shut down. Shoot. What? What what did you say, Charlie? That's the first thing they do is notify the airlines if they have oh, a suspect. Yeah. No, okay. No. No. Then maybe I'm not the smartest. I, mean, I better never go out and do a mass shooting. I just wouldn't be good at it. Mm. Well, to begin with, I'd miss everybody I was trying to shoot. So, you know. But, well, I'd bring Phil along. He could help. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. YouTube's not showing the panel, Alex. Oh, the, oh, excuse me. Of course YouTube's not showing the panel because I forgot they had to go back to... See, some yeah, of them say... for Gustavo. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, we had the Gustavo situation. Hi, everybody. You can now see here see our panel. Okay. All right. Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so we, you know, we got that guy, that shooter up there. Uh, the only I thing, just don't understand why people do that. Something's messed up in your life. Why you got to go kill everybody else? <laughs> well, they say uh, he he had mental problems. Oh no, no, no kidding. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I love how they say, you know, uh, we. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, we're not going to take your uh, insanity defense. Well, you just killed ten people. Isn't that an insane act? You know, unfortunately, they'll probably the find him in. They'll probably find him in the woods with a bullet in his head or something. Probably, probably. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, a lot of these guys just I'd, killed themselves. Yeah. I'd like to find out what, what what goes through his head. Yeah, you know? I wish he had That's shot himself cool first. A rifle round probably would. Yeah, shoot himself first without killing all these other. Oh, the other people. Yeah, right. if you feel you you him. feel this compulsion to kill people and you really don't want to kill them, but you feel this compulsion and you go out and you're going to go do it, why don't you kill yourself first? Yeah. And avoid Put the rifle in your mouth, pull the trigger if you survive, then you can go out and kill some people. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that that that's one big piece of news. And the thing is, here we go again. Now this really I'm getting tired of this. And I'm tired of having to uh, 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 talk to you about it and gripe about it. Uh, what happened to Charlene? Uh oh. Disappeared. Anyway. Yeah. I think it was her. Huh? I didn't see her on at all. Oh, I but. did. I did. No, she was on for a while. She, she never was on. said anything, but she was there. Yeah, but anyway, um, uh, what, was I, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I gripe about this constantly, and I'm going to gripe about it again tonight. 
Who's doing his newscast from Maine tonight? David Muir. Lester, Lester Holt. Was David Muir oh, doing it tonight, too? Yeah, David Muir was there. Yeah, yeah. And, and I guess the person from CBS probably went up. They, I didn't I didn't check her. I didn't check out either of them, but I assume if you, uh, you say Muir. David was there, David, yes. Yeah. So anyway, I, what do these people think they're doing up there? Are they going to help the situation? Is it, can they do any better reporting on the situation than saying now we go to Bob who is up in Maine? Yeah, yeah, it's all for bragging rights. And then on top he, of it, he, he kept showing his uh, iPhone with, "You must still shelter in place," and he's up there ramming around. Yeah, 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 get out in the open. You must shelter in place, right? I was hoping for the shooter to come up behind him. I and, was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, go, here's what happened. So they, they, they started interviewing a couple of people who were friends of or relatives of the people who got killed. And they start crying. Yeah. And rather than say, cut, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna take advantage of this person's grief, they just zoom the camera in on them so you can see the tears. Well, I mean, what's that all about? I mean, that's horrible. That's disgusting. And they do it all the time. And is this why they sent Lester Holt up there? So he could interview, uh, you know. And, and, and the thing that I've noticed is it seems like if they don't get the tears, they cut the interview short. Yeah. Yeah. After a couple minutes, you know, there's no tears. And they go, okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, we didn't. We, if 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 he'd cry, we'd stick around no, a little longer. Yeah, if there's no if there's no reaction, then that's. Uh, we, let's go to commercial. Well, I just mm -hmm. see. I just, I just there, don't yeah. think that it's proper for the networks to take advantage of people's grief and to exploit mm. it. It's getting old. Huh? It's and it's getting old. But they've been yeah. doing this forever. You know. Dishes. I remember once. This is a true story. San Francisco Eyewitness News, Channel 7. Yes. Somebody had their penis cut off on a railroad track. <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> on purpose. And they went and covered the story. Oh, God. And then they zoomed in on the penis on the railroad track. <laughs> that shows you how bad these people get, you know? Wow. Yeah. I'll bet that hurt for a second. Let's all guess what Brian's eating. <laughs> oh, maybe he has My no dinner. Yeah. It looks like a sandwich. My dinner. I just, I just got home. It looks like a sandwich of some sort. Is oh. Celery root. Celery root? Is that what it is? Tofu. Cheese? Hickama. Hickama. I knew it was something weird. Okay. Oof. Wait a minute. Oof. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, but I did it. And carrots. No. Carrot. Hickable, why not? Hickable. It's got home, so yeah, yeah. people have to work. Some of us have to work. Oh, you poor thing. Right. I worked for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. still doing this do. every night. What? Oh my God. I, le I, left, I left my laptop <laughs> in Lodi, so I'm off my other laptop. Oh, okay. Terrible. But, uh, yeah. All you have to do is you, you, you've got to get some, like, I, here's what I keep around here. Anyway, hold on a second. This is what I keep around. Mm. See? Oh, yeah. hmm? Well, it's it's Windex, actually, and I'll just spray it a little bit or on a, on a piece of, usually I put it on a cloth and then I, you know, to clear it See, up. See, my wrinkles I, are gone. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, I, I heard. I heard the people that use Windex uh, have a side effect that makes them lightheaded hmm. when they walk. Here, I'll add that to it. Uh, ah, that's a callback. Yeah, I guess. Yes. Was what it? is that, Charlene? You're holding up. It? I'm eating trail mix. Oh. And I had no audio at, before Alex. That's why I had a call back. Oh. I hit no audio instead of Wi-Fi allow or something. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, that's clean now. Yeah. 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 I think well, this would be a new episode of our show. What am I eating and should I clean my lens? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> technical issues. Jeff can try to get on for a half hour. I'll try to get my camera sorted out. <laughs> Alex, Kev, Kevin's, Alex. Mic, Kevin's mic goes out, you know. Well, you know, it, you can put down Jeff all you want, but when it comes to a clear camera, his is about the clearest of <laughs> yeah. any of us tonight. Whoa. Crystal clear. <laughs> Very it's clear. clear. Yeah. And I've got a, I've got a like, you know, the mo uh, most expensive uh, Logitech camera I can possibly be using, and I should look better mm. than this. Yeah. Yeah. Not the Brio. Huh? Yeah, I have the, the Brio. 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 I have. I mean, I have. Three Brio, four Brios in this house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't use the Brio I'm for a while. I'm happy with my Logitech. Yeah, the cheap one? That's, no, well, I don't recommend it. Uh, I, it's $100. And H, I mean, Charlie and I both have the same one. He copies me. I buy it, he <laughs> buys it. I bought an iPhone 14, he bought an iPhone 14, so. <laughs> well, this thing is like a... Uh, Logitech, what's it? What's it called? I forget now. Forget the name on it. Wait a minute. Charlene I, I, wants to say something. Yes, Charlene, go ahead. Alex, you're hot tonight. You're on a roll. I think you've been very funny, and I'm shutting up so I don't bother your oh, train of thought. You like hearing about cats trying to trip me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I had a cat try to maul me. The cat in my house did the same thing. Mm -hmm. He took a dive at my foot, and he. Like kind of clipped me a little bit. Boy, did that hurt! Wow, wow. That's why I used to hate cats. I used to hate cats because we had a, my uh, friend was taking care of some guy's house, and they had a bunch of cats, and we had a big party over there, and then the cats were at my feet, like attacking my feet all night. Yeah. I hated cats. Like that. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. Well, anyways, oh yes, uh, yes, uh, um, 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 yes. Jeff. I I have something special that maybe is. Competing against Charlie's T-shirts that he wears, oh. mm -hmm. but I got a college that nobody knows. We got to stand up because we can't see it. Or, or, or lower. there we go. <laughs> a Universidad uh, Salamanca. Sri Lanka is that what this? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> Salamanca. Salamanca. Oh. Yeah, it's in uh, it's in Europe, and uh, it's one of the oldest colleges in. In the world, in Europe, will be a university, actually. Yeah, it's a university. Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I, yeah. And I, well, let's see what uh, what uh, Charlie's T-shirt says tonight. Charlie's. Uh, well, that's, that's how, how I roll. roll. And then there's a diagram. Yeah, it's got a, a ball rolling down an incline. I see. Good physics stuff. Yeah. Not, not one of the funnier ones you've had, but good, still scientific. <laughs> you know, uh, wait, now what what me. happened now? Now Brian has lost his 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 life. Well, no, it it uh, no that no, <laughs> no that's horrible. <laughs> wow. No, what happened is. What do you, oh, nice. What did you, you do? Turn off your lights or something? I'm on the same camera that I'm usually on, just a different laptop. But I don't know why it's so dark. Oh, it's weird. It's mm. Well, it doesn't matter, but don't leave your laptop at work anymore, okay? <laughs> well, well, I didn't plan to, but I was in a big... What are you uh, using, yourself? It wasn't so dark a little while ago. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I switch, I'm going to switch my camera back, like I said. You're going to switch your camera back? Yeah, back to my laptop camera like I was before. Oh, that was fine. That's fine. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's the one in the laptop, and the other one was one on top, right? That camera makes my nose look so big, though. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Maybe you need to wipe the lens again. <laughs> With your nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so um, um, what all? let's see. We got this new, you know, it's the Republicans are just asking for nothing but trouble. The newest guy they picked no. is a real douchebag. I mean, a, an amazing douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. What can I say? You know? I it's mean... He's the perfect it, guy for them. He was one of the guys 
who was trying to uh, uh, say it was a fake election yeah. and get it deemed to be a fake election, right? Let me just put my face on here till we Ray get, we get Ray gets on here, and we'll see that uh, there he is. Okay, he's fine. That's Ray. All right. Uh, no, uh, he he's, he 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 also put up a slate of fake electors and things like that. I mean, he he, he, he should be in prison. What? Not in the house. This, this this guy Johnson should be in prison. Oh, he for, should should be for, in prison. Yeah. But, but Trump likes him, so it's okay. Well, that's okay. Trump likes. Him. Well, because he could be a cellmate eventually. <laughs> But That's right. I, I like they that. can decide who's going to get the top bunk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, I love it. But I mean, it, it's uh, it, it's a uh, uh, it's just ridiculous. I mean, did couldn't they just get somebody that was a decent human being that is doesn't have this baggage? Because afterwards, they you know when he's out in the hallways, <clears throat> the press is asking him questions. And they're asking him questions about his record. Yeah. And the woman, one of the women there said, shut up, don't ask questions like that. I think McCarthy would have been a better choice than this guy. Oh, but did you see that? that were you, did you see where that guy sits? He sits right in front of McCarthy. So when they announced that he won, McCarthy was behind him clapping. <laughs> so funny. I mean, it was just... It's just amazing that they they think the future of this party is are, are being douchebags, you know? And they're doing a good job. They're doing a good yeah, job. Johnson is an extreme homophobe. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, and he's a, he's against he's abor- also a racist. He's against abortion in all yep. forms. Yep. You know. Wants well, women locked up if they have an abortion. Is a racist from Louisiana. Yep. Yep. Yeah, right. And Charlie's right. He doesn't like gays. But anytime they asked him about his record and about the questions about his record, what, what, what you know, it, it was told to, sh- the press was told yeah. to shut up. Don't ask those kind of questions. Yeah. What? Why not? Yeah. Hey, look who cleaned his, uh, his, uh, his camera. Scott, Ray, what did you, you clean yours? Did you clean it, Scott? Scott? Yeah, did you clean your uh, lens? No. Oh, it looks, not, looks, not recently. Looks no, better. we watched actually clean it at the beginning of the show. Oh, here. it looks better. Looks much better. Right. Yeah. Let me clean it again here. Yeah. It looks fine. So oh, anyway, I don't, I don't, I just don't. <laughs> there, is that better? <laughs> oh. Yeah, much better. <laughs> oh, oh, it's burning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it hurt your eyes? Oh, oh yeah. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh there. That's better. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, oh yeah. That's better. Yeah. Well, no, wait a minute. It's worse than it was. Why did you do? Have you got Tony's camera? <laughs> this is a very old MacBook Pro. Ooh, I mean, it's like eleven years old. Oh, that's so good. That's clean. Probably. That's really nice. Uh, uh, that's a good picture. Are you in Plano or Iowa? He's in Plano. He's Plano. In, oh, he's in Plano. He just well, that explains a lot. Yeah, yeah. That explains it, huh? <laughs> so anyway, anyway, um, what what else? Uh, what else is in the news? That that that's disgusting. That whole thing. It's vile. It's what it is. And it's not because I'm a liberal. You know, I mean, if. I know what Republicans are, and I know what what I can what I can expect out of them, but there's a there's a decency that the Republicans have had in the past, you know. They're not all douchebags, and so I'm wondering, where are the decent Republicans who are willing Trump. to stand up to this sort of thing? Trump and, is the best of them all. <laughs> he he is, he is the cause of them all. No, but he's yep. he's right though. You know, not a bad idea, right? To get him back. My judge, by the way, fined him ten thousand dollars yesterday. And then he walked out of court and talked shit about the judge again. Well, about his, you know, about the decision. About yeah. the decision. 
Yeah. The guy's a, you know, the guy, uh, Trump claims he's a racist. Well, you know, he, uh, he was complaining about the judge's uh, assistant. Not really his assistant. Clerk. It, it's his clerk. clerk. It's, I think the title is court clerk, but she really helps him make decisions. She probably knows the law better than he does. Yeah. You know, I mean, no, because a lot of these judges have law clerks who mm -hmm. really know the law better than they do. Sometimes the judges aren't even uh, lawyers. lawyers, you know. Um, and uh, so she always was, she was pretty much calling the shots in our case. And where, where, where do they have judges that aren't lawyers? That's a new one on me. Oh, you don't have to be a lawyer to be you a judge. You don't have to be a lawyer. Oh. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah. No. I mean, it would be... In Texas, judges are elected. Yeah. So anybody can run. Yeah, I think they're... Uh, I don't know if they're elected in New York. Or, I don't know if our judge was elected here. You know. But he was... Uh, I, I I know her because I you know she was part of our case and I we talked with her at, 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 from time to time and uh, we were we we were not that happy with her because she was like she was pretty well pulling all the strings but then afterwards when the judge brought us into his quarters to into his chambers to uh, chambers a dirty old desk in a back office. You know, it's chambers, okay? I always imagine it was like on TV where they got all these law books up there and, you know, uh, a beautiful, beautiful desk and all that. Smoking a pipe. <laughs> but they called us back because we settled the case and, and he wanted to congratulate us. And he was so nice. And she was terrific. She was just wonderful. She said, I'm so happy for you guys. She said, you know, I'm glad this settled itself in this way. So, you know. Um, oh, by the way, uh, I, I, I sent a security deposit for the rent uh, renewal that we never really got, but just so they would have it, along with a rent renewal form that we X'd out everything on the, on the form, and they cashed my security deposit. That's good. And oh, I wait. and I got a bill for this month's rent, and it's the same price it's been for the last two years. <laughs> Once they cast a check, they've signed the deed. The yeah, uh, basically, yeah, pretty yeah. much. They've, yeah. They've, once they've yeah, once they've signed the uh, signed the check, they they've agreed it. to it. Yeah. 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 By the way, does the bank send you back your check? No, not anymore. Not anymore. No, then it's, it, it's imaged. You could probably look it up on your bank account. Oh, there. I see. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. But I mean, it was uh, it, so that was amazing what they did to me. Um, now we've got to get Ray to clean off his lens. Oh no, there it is. It's clean now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 What are you? Hello. Wh how, what are you doing? I'm making a burrito. You're Not a dog you're, food. Uh, out of dog food? Yeah, out of dog food. Yeah. You're making a burrito. My dog's eating too. My dog, my my cute little dog went from <laughs> acting like a puppy her whole life to old dog in a week. Really? She has like dementia or something. She just wanders around. She can't see. Oh, oh that's too bad. It happened in about a week. Wow. They do that? That's crazy. How old is the dog? Fifteen. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's old for yeah. getting old for a dog. And yeah. and, and huh? What? Uh, what? Yes, Charlie. You know, there's what? there's what? doctors who uh, are uh, dog doctors who veterinarians. Focus, veterinarians. Yeah, but who focus on eyes and things like that. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, we already had to have one of her eyes taken out, removed. Go. Hmm. And the other one, she can't see out of anymore very much. Oh, okay. Well, oh, she can't hear really very well. well. All I know is I had a blind cat, and she could actually get around better than the rest of the cats. You know? Unless you'd move the furniture but, around. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway. Thank you. Charlene. Charlene Char 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 Charlene's going to get some kind of, like, hand problem from... All this holding up of her hand that she's been doing. Oh, 
couple of you. Oh, Alex. Yeah. Alex. There's my doggy. But yes. Oh. Sh- didn't they, didn't they take a shot or try? No, they tried to attack or get into his home. Is it Robert Kennedy Jr., the Republican Kennedy? You know who I mean? Yeah. He's a Republican. No. Oh. He's not Republican. He's no, he's a Democrat. He's independent. Yeah. Is he an independent now? Yeah. Well, I, I know he's not Democrat. You know who he's married to? Yes. Tell Cheryl her. Hines. Cheryl Hines. Who's that? She play, played the right. wife on Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> played the wife on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Okay, I see. <laughs> So I think less of her now. You know, <laughs> you know. I mean, come on, Robert Kennedy Jr. is a nutcase. Yep, that's what I think. Man's crazy. He, Insane. He believes some weird stuff. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, now th- here, here's how how you make a burrito, right? Are, it, yep. Are you just frying up the innards of the burrito? No, I fried the uh, the the tortilla, and yeah. then I put the innards in, and I put it in a low heat, and I covered the pan. I see, and then that will make the final sealed yes. burrito. And here it is. Oh, let's see. Hold it up a little bit. There we go. Oh, there you and, go. And what is that? Re- what is that red burrito. stuff there? What is that red? That's stuff? tomato. Uh, that's yeah. the chopped up tomato from Costco. I see, but that's not actually in the burrito. No, I have it outside right now. Yeah, yeah. right outside the burrito. Yeah. And then you got to wait for the thing to cool down, right? Yeah. We have one of these uh, stoves that are magnets that are really popular in Europe. I love this thing. Mm-hmm. What do you mean they're magnets? You can touch it with your hand and oh, not oh, burn your fingers. Oh, you mean... Well, they... it's like it's conducted. Conduction. No, it's what do you call or it? Or induction. Induction. Induction, yeah. Induction. Yeah. Yeah. But now, how how good... See, yes. Marjorie and I love gas. Okay, we like a flame. Uh-huh. Uh, but we don't like electric. Electric is horrible. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know? Right. So, but in, inductive, or whatever this is called, I'm trying to remember now. How How is that to cook with, physically? Uh... It's great. It's like gas. Um, it as also long as has you this, have a steel pan. You, you have to have the right pans. That's yep. the thing. You have to yeah. have pans that work with induction stoves. It has okay. to have, be Indu- magnetic. Induction. Yeah. Right. Induction. induction. And uh, it has a, a setting that's power boost. It gets so hot you can't even believe it. You can boil a pot of water in like a huge, a big okay. But here's, giant here, pot of water here, here's, in like two my, minutes. Here's my question. My wife here has uh, uh, pots and pans like you you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm. Tons of them, right? You've been over here, Jeff. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Does this mean that if we got one of those stoves, we'd have to get a whole new set of pans? Not necessarily. I, it just really. depends on whether your pans work would work with an induction stove. Well, yeah. Wouldn't any metal one work with an induction stove? Uh, Katie, can you use any pan on an induction stove? Or? No, it has to be one that has like a magnetic thing on the bottom. Iron. Iron. Yeah, iron, yeah. And it says, they usually say that they they work with induction stoves. Yeah, but yeah. I mean. Use a cast iron skillet? Yeah. Cast iron? I don't think you can use a cast iron. Oh, you Why can not? use a cast iron, yes. Sure yes, you can. you can. Sorry. You can't can, use yeah. aluminum. Aluminum you can't use, right. Um, so it has to be. It has to be magnetic. It has to be able to that's be magnetic. That's right. It has to be magnetic. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah, about no, it has to be able to. Iron. To. In other words, if, if I had. It has to be iron. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if I had, say, a magnet, right? Magnet. If it yeah. if it sticks to this kind of pot, then I'd be fine. Yes. Yes. If a yeah. magnet will stick to the pot. Oh, then you can okay. It. Well, you know, I think most of the stuff she's got is like either iron or uh, steel, you know, That's metal. Right. You, you could know. not use a work. Pyrex glass. That's what they're saying. Yeah. You can't use glass. No. Yeah. It won't work. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so, you know. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. What? So anyway, well, next time we come over, we'll uh, inspect all of your 
<laughs> plates and stuff. And, and our, yeah, okay. See what you are. Be sure to do that. <laughs> yeah. Because Pam. Well, actually, we're seeing you. We're mother. seeing. We're seeing you this weekend. That's right. I was just told that today by Marjorie. Right. And I said, really? Do we have to? <laughs> I'll wear a, a mask. All you people on the West Coast, eat your hearts out because you're always getting together for lunch. <laughs> and now I'm getting together to, with lunch with, uh, with Jeff. And then next week, Albert will be here for a week. Whoa. Yeah. That's an extra. That should be fun, too. Uh, but anyway, what else is happening? I'm trying to remember what else is happening in the news. Oh, what's happening in uh, Israel this week? Um, you know, talked about who's, who's uh, killing him. Yeah, it, it's still going on, you know, yeah. and it's, 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 ter it's depressing. We watch the news at night, and Marjorie just gets distressed by it. And so do I. You know? I don't want to look at it. You know, I mean... Listen, Hamas are douchebags. There's no question about it. They're the worst. I mean, it's horrible what they've done. And how any human being does this to another human being, I you know, I just can't imagine what... Cutting off little kids' heads. Yeah, yeah but, but it, it's stuff, stuff like that, right? Yeah. But, you know, on the other hand, the amount of grief that is being heaped upon the Gazans Oh, yeah. You know, uh, I mean, they... Palestinians? They don't have hospitals. You know, they've all been bombed or not working or whatever. And one story I heard that was really terrible was that uh, there are situations in which people, for instance, have lost an arm or a leg and they can't do anything about it because they don't have the medicine or the, the equipment to take care of it. No and, electricity. Yeah. yeah, and these are just you know, these are just people. These are not you know this is not Hamas, mm -hmm. and I just think that you know yes, there is a definite desire to get even. There's no question about that. I understand that that motive, but you've got to suppress it. Why not? Why not do a surgical strike? Why not send the? the There's no such thing like, as a, like our like our. Uh, no, uh, like it's our wonderful. Like it's our, a wonderful that you're Sunday morning, Monday morning quarterback, but uh, that's not necessarily possible, uh, because these I don't know. these guys no these guys are in uh, in uh, tunnels tunnels underneath tunnels. homes of regular civilians. So what do you do? You bomb all the civilians to get no, to the tunnels? No, it's not what I'm saying at all. Surgical. I mean, like. Have like we we have the Navy SEALs. Yeah, they don't they don't go in and bomb everything. They get they get intelligence and then they go hunt them down. When we got Osama bin Laden, we didn't blow up the whole. Right, right. Country. That's what that's a surgical. Didn't we a, kill a few oh, other people though in that compound? Yeah, five or six, not six thousand. Yeah. But in that's that right. in that case, you basically had people we were going to get anyway. That's know? right. But this is a very difficult situation. Yeah. And even the president is asking uh, Netanyahu to have a certain amount of restraint in this, and to do only what he can uh, he can do without killing civilians. But I mean, there have, so far almost seven thousand Gazans are dead. Yeah, yeah, wars are messy. War, you yeah, know, you know, crap. <laughs> I'm I'm being serious. It sucks. It sucks. I mean, you retaliate surgically is the way you do it. I mean, you, you know, you get, you, 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 you. Well, apparently they're not being too terribly surgical. Well, they're surgical. not doing that, obviously. Yeah. I hope Netanyahu loses his job. Oh, listen, you know, I mean, um, uh, even a lot of, uh, even a lot of Israelis right now hate him for the way he has handled this situation. Because first of all, they claim that he knew what was going to happen. Well, he apparently Egypt warned him. Warned him what was going to happen. And he had every reason not to. And that reason is everybody was against him. Everybody wanted him to resign. Uh, things were really bad. People were demonstrating against him because of the whole thing he was doing with the Supreme Court by trying to do away with yeah. the Supreme Court. And so something like this saved his ass. Because nobody's saying get the hell out of Dodge, because nobody does that while you're at war. 
you know. So, um, but Netanyahu's, you know, come on, not a, not a nice guy, not a decent person, and it's it's just terrible what's happened over there, and, and what Hamas did, unconscionable. By the way, our latest guest on the program is a burrito. So, I just <laughs> there it is, yeah, a blurry burrito. It, there it, it is. It, now it, it's it, nice and clear. Yeah, there, there. <laughs> A burrito and the human who brought him, yeah. But anyway, hello. <laughs> but I don't. I don't want to talk great. too much about this because who knows if uh, if uh, last night on last night's show, which was a pretty clean show all the way around, we got demonetized. Oh. And well, then really? I protested it, and then they looked at it and they said you're okay. But I figured it had to do with us talking about Israel. Probably, you know. You know and and the fact that now in this day and age you there's certain things you can't say you see, I, I was on radio for years you know there were things you couldn't say you couldn't say four letter words which i always felt was stupid okay mm -hmm. four letter words never hurt anybody but, like work oh no you, you know <laughs> but i mean no but i mean it's like some science fiction Twice. science fiction movie about you can't say the word otherwise you'll get arrested you know right. So I was always bothered by that. And um, then I come to the internet where I can do anything. You know, uh, I, I was over at Sirius XM where I could say anything I wanted to. But now it turns out the things I can't say again. You know, and what's this all about? This is supposed to be the place I could go where I could do all the stuff I couldn't do. Mm. You know, so I, that, that bothers me. Yeah. So Facebook has said that they will not allow somebody like Dr. Fauci to give medical advice or uh, how to protect yourself or something on Facebook until they say that they're qualified. Until they, well, isn't Fauci qualified? Of course he's qualified, but you know, but they used his, him as an example. That's a poor example. There's a lot of people giving bad information on Facebook. You oh, know, it, it, it constantly, you know, but nevertheless, I mean, uh, uh, how, uh, how is Facebook, for no instance, or, or YouTube supposed to be the people who know what is proper information and what is not proper information? Are they, are they, do they have a medical degree? No, they probably have medical doctors that vet it. Before it goes Look, out. I think it, I think it's important that if there is misinformation being put out over the internet about the medical stuff like COVID, then there should be people policing that because you don't want people like you know somebody suddenly said use Clorox, you know, like the president did. Uh. That you know you don't want people suddenly use doing that. They're going to hurt, going to kill themselves. Okay. So you need some kind of restraint against that. But who are the people making these decisions at YouTube and Facebook? Mm -hmm. Not doctors. No. Nope. Not doctors. Yes, Charlene. Um, I just want to know for my information, so maybe I don't say them. All of the uh, George Carlin's seven words are not allowed? No, they're allowed. Could you tell me which ones, or is that no good? All of them. There are seven of them. You know what they are, and you can you can you can say them. But that's getting demonetized, or oh, I might get demonetized. I might, oh. or I might, it might, uh, yeah, it might put me in a position where I have to only certain people can, you know, hear me or whatever. Anyway, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't keep me off the air. Let me put it that way, and it wouldn't mm -hmm. uh, put me in a position where I could they would stop letting me do my program on on YouTube for instance but okay. they would maybe demonetize me if we used them a lot if I used them in any one of them in passing okay that's okay you know it's just casual usage you know I mean I don't think they know what the rules are mm -hmm. you know they just suddenly made up all these rules because everybody, you know, they, they like I got hit for somebody on my show uh, talking about COVID and about somebody saying something about COVID and then saying how terrible what that was, what we were saying. But they took, they 
literally put a ding on me. They put a warning on me because they said that we were propo we were pro uh, proposing this. But they never listen to the whole thing because what they have are these algorithms, and they go mm -hmm. searching through the through the programming. All the program we got. I got this two years after the incident happened. Okay, that they complained about it, and they have these algorithms, and so the algorithm hears that. Okay, and says, "Oh, you this is terrible. You've got to give him a warning." So then you can protest the warning. But then they go back and they physically l l go l listen to it. But what they hear is only that portion that the algorithm picked up, not the discussion afterwards where we said, isn't that horrible? Nobody should be allowed to say that sort of thing, whatever, you know? So, I mean, and then the, the once, once I protested it and they then looked at it, the algorithm spit it, spit it back at them, um, I didn't have recourse for a second protest. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. It's really terrible. You know, it, 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 that, when that happened, it was enough to make me just want to quit you, using YouTube. But, you know, how am I going to get to the most people? I'm not going to get to it on uh, uh, a couple of other systems that I use, like uh, Vimeo. Anybody know Vimeo? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but how, mm -hmm. my, how many of you go out and look at Vimeo to see what's on there? No. Never. How about YouTube? I'm going mm -hmm. through YouTube All constantly. All the time. Yeah. Right. Love YouTube. Yeah, I mean, uh, we without YouTube, we wouldn't get to see people uh, put their dick on the rail. What? Yeah. I, I you said the guy that put his penis on the on the train rail. Well, well that's not on YouTube. Oh, I don't know. It, it surprises me what YouTube allows. Uh, they don't. They're they're kind of funny about what they allow. You know. Was, you know yeah. what? Like a year ago, somebody sent me a, a picture of this twenty-five-year-old guy showing how to install a condom, and he was totally in the nude, totally erect. Yes, they had that. Um, they had that on I sent, YouTube. Yeah, I sent it to you on YouTube. I sent it to you, and you said, "My God, yes." That's that education. Surprised me that they allowed that. I remember that was on, yeah. yeah. Alan talked about that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, Alex looked it up too, but it was there. And yeah. I thought, God, this is horrible. Children can see this. I mean, they're going to see it someday, but I mean, it, it's they not. Need it probably right. you do uh, know. The kids have screen, if the, the parents hook up the screening mm -hmm. stuff for the kids. Well, yeah. Well, listen, we're coming towards the end of this. And uh, how's, the, how's the burrito? Is it good? Mm. Look good. It was really good. Mm. Really? It's gone. And it's gone. It's gone now. It's in my stomach. It's gone. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Out the other end soon. Hmm? I don't know how to eat that thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me uh, put some uh, music on here. You can't hear it, but I figured out why. Because yeah. you're listening to this over Zoom, and Zoom censors the music. Because they say it's uh. not in copyright. But the that's fact right. is, I have the rights to the music, and that's all that should matter. You know? Right. Eh, screw it. Hey, listen, it's always good to talk to you folks because you're intelligent and you're fun and you're sprightly, and uh, I, I think the world of all of you, and including Scott, who doesn't call this program that often, but we like hearing from him, you know? Uh, and, and you don't have to be too uh, too worried about Phil being here because he normally. Oh, hey, Adrian. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, our uh, toothless Adrian. <laughs> he must be making a fortune. Twenty dollars <laughs> a tooth. Is it twenty dollars a tooth now? Boy. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. Thank you so much, Charlie. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, Jeff, as well. Appreciate the Scott, as I said, for being here. And uh, you want to dance to the music? She can't hear it, can she? Um, no. Here, I could put it. I can put it up here. You can. Can you hear that? Her own kind of music. Yeah. Well, yeah, she's dancing to the music in her head. Yeah, well, it, it, that's what it, that, being young is a great yeah, thing. Uh, thank you so much, Alan. Uh, thank you so much to uh, uh, Kevin. Thanks to Charlene. Uh, thanks to uh, Ray and thanks to Brian and that silly little girl. 
that he has on screen right now. Who's looking really goofy with the? Don't when those teeth grow back in, you won't be able to do that. Look, oh, yeah. see, see. <laughs> Pretty yeah, boy. Well, everybody, <laughs> give a big, a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye to you. Okay, and uh, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. That's our citizen panel. Uh, there'll be another one forming. Uh, like uh, like crust on a onion soup. Uh, next with Jack Bishop and the intersection. I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye.